Hi guys, it's Steve at Golf Tech Systems. We are in the Abingdon Demo Center. We have got Tom with us today. So we are going to take you through target practice uh, in TPS software. We are running this on Trapman IO. So Tom, we're going to run you through kind of uh, this area. This I think is a really good area for people to use for their home practice. Um, it's also good for coaches, but I want to show you how versatile it is in terms of what you can do, how you can set it up and get the information back out of the system that you need. So target practice loads up. You've got all these presets down at the bottom to start with. So if you want to give me a yardage that you want to work to first. Let's go 120. Okay, so 120 yards. And we're going to select that. And that selects up the green. Uh, there's no wind. Oh, there is a bit of wind on, actually. It's into your face slightly. So you can see that on the top left. Okay. So take that into consideration. Let's get a shot away, and then we'll have a look at what we can change. Oh, big pull. It was. You're right. But they get there because of it. Mm. Yeah, we have a spin. Yeah. So target practice, as I say, all these different greens out on the practice area. We've also got the 55-inch screen running. So at the moment, we've got you looking at carry number and ball speed along with impact location. Mm -hmm. Now, we can obviously tailor this to how you want it to be. So we can actually either add more data points, say, into uh, the left-hand side here. So again, if Spin's you want... obviously important for me. Yep, so we can add spin rate in, and then if we just close that off, you'll now see that adds an extra tie. Hopefully, you can just about see this on the camera on the back of the room. Um, we could also look at moving, say, like instead of having the impact uh, in terms of, sorry, the impact graphic, we could look at actually changing that screen. So we just go into the extended screens in Trapman, and instead of going impact location, something for IO is club delivery. So if we save that and then just come back to the practice area, that will now put up the video for yeah. what you've done. So again, we can quickly have a quick look at that. That gives that nice playthrough video so we can see exactly what you've done with club. A little bit different to impact location. Or you could have impact location and that. You can have as much as you want. This is the beauty of TPS software. You can really tailor it. Yeah. Um, the other thing that's quite nice is obviously you can select different targets. So if we say click on select target, there's all those target points out on the range. So we can now pick a different distance. So is there any distance that you can see that you want to go let's to go, now? Okay, let's go 175. Okay, 175 is up there. So we select the 175 and just click done. And now that will automatically just align us up to that green. So you can hit that shot. And then obviously now we've got different data on the 55. So you can see that as well. Ooh. Strike. Well, I think the video will be quite interesting for that. That felt very close to the hosel. It was close. I can see that in the side. I'll take but, it, though. But you'll take the shot all day long. You're recording this one, though. Yeah, it's all on tape, <laughs> so you're all good. So, yeah, effectively, that's um, you moving around the practice area and obviously adjusting the data that we're seeing over here. Now, one thing that is good with target practice, which, again, a lot of people think you go to the presets, but if we go to place ball, that will now enlarge the multi-map and then you can just drop the ball anywhere you want to. So if you just said, I want to do a bit of pitching or something like that, tap anywhere to place ball and then we just click done. Now we can practice those shots as well. So think of the target practice area, more of you can move anywhere around it. It's not like you're on a set T position hitting out like you would be on a practice ground driving mm -hmm. range. You can actually go anywhere you want to go, um, which is a really, really neat feature. And in fact, even if you want to, if we go back to place ball again and then just drop it here and then click done, that means we can instantly do putting practice. So again, those features are really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Tailor this how you want it, set this up how you want it, move and, and around. It looks better because you've got the other other models that you've got here i've got a practice range you can drop a pin on a practice range but that hasn't got the same visual that this has got of the playability but practice within playability absolutely i think you'll find with tps software you can you're building it how you want it and that's the point it's more versatile to you or the player to actually set it up how you want and it's all as you can see just a click of a button it's also with this screen you know putting up as much data i mean we could put effectively with the data points you know, we could add 
more data points on so you could see a lot more information mm. but the beauty is you can take it away so if it's a coach you might not want the student to see as much information so you can hide it and work on one thing and only let them see one thing but again for a home user it's great that they can just move this around and do exactly what they want to do with this this area that is just one part of tps software in one of their elements of practice so we will do another video we will head over to their new range feature that's been out a little while but it is a newer feature for the practice side uh, we do a quick video on that so you can see that information as well if you need any more information you can visit us at www.golftechsystems.com